Are you both ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh... Grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I've heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh. I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the Hound Pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. The, the conspirators have found a safe home here. They take great care that they are not followed. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it then. Ask me for any gear you need.
Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Just climb aboard when you're ready. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin's Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive. He's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. Say something? Remind him of our curfew? No. Don't remind him. Chase him down. <clears throat> give him a severely deadly beating is what. Okay, yeah, I got it. <clears throat> severely deadly beating. <clears throat> Curse the plague and this blasted curfew. So How is anyone supposed to move? Well now, Mr. Pratchett. Even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right. And the weepers, excuse me, so How did it pass me by? Only others, down to the sickness. 
Rivers change course over many lifetimes, and eventually all bridges tumble down. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into runes and inscribed them with my mark. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like you are. He wasn't chosen, and he doesn't wear my mark so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he could start by being a bit more interesting. Another night, another patrol with you.
What now? and check the whale oil? What for? Hey, what was that? I know I heard something. Help! Get around him! Hey, come up! I know something's up. I guess everything... He wants me to go up and check the whale oil? What for? The lights are working perfect. Well, there's nothing to do. And I like climbing the pillars. Just leave the oil tanks be, or they'll break.
Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Chances are very good. No, 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 sir. Stop thinking. I was just wondering. If Sokolov is testing elixirs on people to cure the plague, why is it he always asks for healthy citizens? If you follow me, sir, you have no mind for natural philosophy. Obviously, it's because the ones already sick with plague don't live long enough to provide Sokolov with any useful information. It's just a shame, sir. turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with high heat therapy, which came to me vividly in a dream last night, has great potential according to the latest celestial alignment. As for test subject 312, after the characteristic sloughing of the skin, she should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow. I see. How are you feeling? Much. Much worse. Do I have the plague? Please, sir. I don't want to die. Hush now. No one's going to die. You are much improved. Well, the formula I administered to you is working exactly as it should. I cannot let you go yet, because I have not finished with my study. But tomorrow will make all the difference. Really? You'll release me tomorrow. I'm not gonna die. Yes. Tomorrow, I will have the guards remove you from this cell. Late morning, perhaps. But the pain. Can't you give me something for the pain? I do have many pain remedies, yes. But alas, I cannot give you any. They could interfere with my research. You should thank me. Soon we will have a cure for this terrible disease. Thanks to all my hard work and dedication. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, whoever you are. You kept me in a cage. Like an animal. Pain 
situation is horrible right now. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. Sokolov here. Excellent progress today. Test subject 312 is declining rapidly. As I theorized, formulas 12 and 17, administered in combination, greatly accelerated the progression of the disease. Interestingly, the respiratory mucosa had erupted and raised pustules, grayish in color, which burst, causing hemorrhaging pain. I now turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which is so me by all the others <laughs> so royal physician himself you made a neat job of it drop him here and we'll be off 